Boynton. Mr. Orange. Good afternoon. Dr. King, may I introduce myself? Yeah, of course. Hey, that's okay. I'm right now. That's okay. That's okay. I'm okay. This way, Dr. Kang. That white boy can hear. This place is perfect. Boy, Cotton, the buses in Montgomery. Segregation in Birmingham. Now, voting in Selma. One struggle ends just to go right to the next and the next. If you think of it that way, it's a hard road. But I don't think of it that way. I think of these efforts as one effort. And that one effort is for our life. Our life as a community, our life as a nation, for our lives. We can do this. We must do this. We see children become victims of one of the most vicious crimes ever perpetrated against humanity within the walls of their own church. They are sainted now. They are the sainted ones in this quest for freedom, and they speak to us still. They say to us, to all of us, all colors and creeds, that we must do this. They say to us, that it is unacceptable for more than 50% of Selma to be Negro, and yet less than 2% of Negroes here being able to vote and determine their own destiny as human beings. They say to us that the local white leadership use their power to keep us away from the ballot box and keep us voiceless. As long as I am unable to exercise my constitutional right to vote, I do not have command of my own life. I cannot determine my own destiny, for it is determined for me by people who would rather see me suffer than succeed. Those that have gone before us say, no more, no more. That means protest. That means march. That means disturb the peace. That means jail. That means risk, and that is hard. We will not wait any longer. Give us the vote. That's right. No more. We're not asking. We're demanding. Give us the vote.